Let's now look at the ring topology. You can probably guess what this looks like. So each device, each node is connected to two other devices forming a ring around the network. And of course, it's not going to be a perfect circle in real life. It's just, this is just for physical connections. So this is more of the element that each device is connected to two other devices. So they form this kind of continuous connection between them. So the nodes take turns sending data. And when a message is sent, it's sent in one direction around uh, the network. It doesn't matter which direction, it's arbitrary, but it'll be a you know, predetermined direction. Or, you know, it, yeah. It's not quite that simple, but um, effectively that's what happens. So say this device here, this node here, is sending the data. It transmits the data to, let's say, the printer. Each device receives it and just passes it on until it's, you know, it gets its intended recipient and processes it and does whatever it needs to do. So the nodes in the way, effectively, need to be working in online and you know don't have any issues in order to be able to communicate, which means this topology is quite vulnerable to any breaks in the, in the ring. If one of these devices goes down, it means they can't all communicate because they can't get through this broken device. Compared to other topologies, this is quite simple, doesn't need a lot of cable, but as I say, it's very susceptible to any breaks in the system.